this week's edition of The Hair Oracle. This is the ANHC Pro Edition. I have the awesome and amazing Mr. Darius Peace here all the way from now it's the big A and the little A, but we're going to call yeah. yours the big A because he's right here with yes. us. Yes, <laughs> so Birmingham, Alabama. Yes. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. I'm okay. so glad to be here. Thank you for coming. Yeah. So this is our second time on the Hair yes. Oracle couch. Yeah. And I love it again. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So I am asking, um, what, so on the Hair Oracle, we dispelled the myths that are on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We know that the hairstylist simply forgot about some of the natural hair segment or just weren't interested in it. So now we're trying to come back and recapture a natural hair industry. You have done that fabulously for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm, 20 years. So tell me, why are stylists not, why did stylists not want to get into the natural hair industry? Uh, it's because it's not a part of the educational curriculum. You know, ah. people do what they know to do. And so there are no schools that really formally educate on natural hairstyling. Mm -hmm. And when they do offer it, it's like a page long, maybe, yes. you know, going over some braiding techniques or mm -hmm. um, something that may involve a twist or something like that, or maybe something curly. But it's never as extensive as and it's as encompassing as natural hair is. So I think that a lot of stylists are now ill equipped to accommodate the emerging market mm -hmm. that's always, you know, moving into the or, or changing the, the, the beauty industry. Yes. And so it's just caused a lot of people to be resistant mm -hmm. to the change. Well, I always kind of taught them because I, I began myself um, with natural hair, but I started in 97. Mm -hmm. So I'm 20 something years in yeah. like you. Yeah. Um, Terry Baptiste and I were the first two in our city to yeah. kind of introduce it. And I found that they thought that it was going to be a trend. Yeah, that's true. And that's so crazy because 20 years ago, they thought it was going to be a trend. And look at what it is now. Yeah. And so I always told them, if you guys don't learn this, you guys are going to be broke. It's Salon doors are closing all over the world because people cannot accommodate this market that has now emerged of women and men yes. who have natural hair. Like, think about even barbers. Yes. Barbers are struggling. Yes. In the barber community, there are a lot of people who sponge the hair. Mm -hmm. And after a certain length of hair that's achieved with most guys, you can't sponge it anymore. No. And so the barbers don't even know what to do with these guys here. And these guys see these athletes on TV and yeah. like, oh, I, I want this, right, I want that. Right. You know, and so it's about just learning and growing and not resisting the changes that come along mm -hmm. with the industry. So. Very true. Now, one of the biggest things, and we kind of talked about this um, during Dr. Porter's class, mm -hmm. I call it the ABCs and one, two, threes um, that Andre Walker came up with oh, yeah. years ago to kind of address what was missing from the industry. I don't subscribe to it and I understood why he did it. It was necessary for um, customers and consumers to be able to understand what they were dealing with since we as professional stylists kind of left that out. Mm -hmm. Where do you see where do you see the market going as far as that? Because nobody can tell me what their ABCs and one two threes are afterwards. So I came up with a system that allows them to be able to know their hair type so that they can know what to do with it. Where do you think we're gonna end up with all of this? Well, I like you do not subscribe to the what I call alphanumeric categorizing of hair. Okay. And mainly because it's uh, it's it's not necessary for professionals. I do Absolutely. understand from the you know non professional standpoint, understanding what products or tools are going to be most compatible with styling your curly hair. But in the salon, because most of the serums that we use, most of the solutions that we use, and the tools, yeah. you know, are really compatible with any texture of hair, any condition, and any length that we have to deal with. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't subscribe to it. I do think that in the future, though, but at the more proficient stylists become, you know, with treating and styling natural Afro texture mm -hmm. hair, the more that um, system of categorizing will be sure. dispelled. Yes, yeah. I, I agree with that. So, um, the hair oracle is about dispelling myths. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything on YouTube that, and, and I don't knock you two because they are learning some beautiful artwork. Mm -hmm. um, however, I do believe that um, the things that you learn on YouTube aren't necessarily for everyone. That one person has done their one head probably multiple times, mm -hmm. so that doesn't translate into you can do yours like mine because I did it like mine. Yeah. What give me one myth on YouTube that drove you nuts? Something that you saw that made you absolutely crazy that you said, Oh, I have got to kind of maybe address this one thing. 
<laughs> well, it wasn't. It didn't make me crazy because it was actually something that could work. Okay. But okay, it was. But there was no support. They weren't able okay. to ev- give any evidence to support the accuracy of the solution to the problem. Understand. And that was people recommending the use of monostat on the scalp um, to treat so certain scalp conditions. Build up so but they I don't correlate. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't think that they really that understood one. the science behind it, you know, because there are some conditions, some fungal and um, um, bacterial um, and yeast conditions that occur on the scalp. And sometimes some of the active ingredients in monastery. Let me fix can. my face. <laughs> <laughs> I had my whole face stored like, what the world? Okay, so, so some wow. of the active ingredients can treat those conditions, but I really don't ever recommend anybody doing anything like that without a dermatological assessment. I don't really trust YouTube to be my dermatologist, oh, although wow. I am not anti-YouTube. One of the things that I usually um, applaud YouTube and the YouTube generation for is really ushering more people into the natural Absolutely. hair world. And so because the beauty industry was not equipped to accommodate these people, at least YouTube was present so that people could have have some understanding for yes. how to create you know a, a style solution on their own hair Absolutely. whether it worked or not at least they had um, an avenue or a resource to go to as a guide understood so tell me um, what are you doing these days I know you have some phenomenal um, things going on some courses and um, you've written several books give us yeah. give, give them something yeah so I'm Darius Peace I'm your natural hair expert and I've been treating and styling natural afro texture hair for over 20 years and I love it I, I travel all over the world teaching and helping people to have smooth and easy experiences with their hair um, I am an author of a book series called My Hair Ain't Nappy and it's a fantastic book series that helps to um, teach people to love and accept and um, love embrace and accept their natural hair Um, But right now, currently what we're doing and working on is the Haya Beauty Style Network. And our Haya Beauty Style Network is an educational and income earning platform created specifically and exclusively for hairstylists and barbers to teach them modern natural hairstyling while also giving them an option to build wealth for themselves beyond the chair. Awesome. Awesome. Did y'all hear that? Beyond the chair. (laughs) Beyond the chair. So how can they reach you? How can they get in touch with you? So I am on Facebook as Darius Peace, that's D-A-R-R-I-U-S, Peace as in World Peace. I am on Instagram with that same tag, that's Darius Peace. And you can also follow my professional pages, Haya Beauty, that's H-A-Y-A-H-B-E-A-U-T-Y.com. And that's Haya Beauty on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, anything else you need for the people to know about Mr. Peace? Um, that I'm very grateful to be um, a, a, a second time <laughs> guest on the Charla, on the Hair Oracle oh, Show. Yes, 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 with the lovely Miss Charla. And um, thank you so much for having You're me. You're so welcome. Yeah, it's always it. awesome. Always awesome. Okay, guys, we'll see you soon. We're going back into the ANHC Pro classes. You guys better not miss it next time. Stay connected, stay tuned in. Charla Salon, the Hair Oracle.